guys, it's your girl Jalicia, and I'm back with another video. Hey, ho. Okay. Now, as you can see by the title, this is considered a locks sit and see. So we're going to be sitting and seeing my hair, okay? Okay. So this is pipe cleaners. If you guys have been following me for a while since I used to live in Georgia, you would remember this is the BG's favorite curls. That's exactly what this is. And that's pretty much where you put a large amount of locks on your pipe cleaner as opposed to one. I've got like three on a pipe cleaner and up to like ten on a pipe cleaner. So it just depends on the thickness of my locks in a particular section. Because y'all know some places can be like really thin. Some places you have thicker locks. So it just depends that way. Um, if you need a tutorial, I will link my actual video that I made a tutorial in the description box so you can get more details on that. So I'm going to show you guys my entire takedown. Um, I used about maybe 25, 30 pipe cleaners and this is how I do my pipe cleaners with the loop at the end and then twist it together. Just in case you needed a point of reference. Um, again, BG Favorite Curls if you need to know more information or you can go to Bronze... Bronze Goddess 01 channel, who's the original BG, and she will show you, you know, original how she does it. All right, so y'all sitting? Check. Y'all ready to see? Check. <laughs> Before I even start, yes, I'm wearing clothes. Because <laughs> you know some of y'all try it. Mm -hmm. All right, so I just want to show you guys how I've been wearing it. This is how my hair has been for the past three days maybe. Um, as you can see, they're big pipe cleaners. I got about five locks per pipe cleaner. This is a hairnet. Can you see it? I don't even know if you can really see it, but I've been wearing a hairnet just to hold the back together because I haven't been able to sleep on it. And child, let me tell you how I was on a hunt for a hairnet. And you know those small, fine ones? I could not find that anywhere. So I had to get this ugly-ass lunch lady one. But anywho, yeah, I just had this on it. And now let me show you what it looks like before we start taking it down. Here's the back. Just big-ass pipe cleaner. You know when your pipe cleaner's dry, they just get to looking ridiculous. So, I just want to show you that again. Now, let's start taking them down. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and just start taking them down. I'm not going to take all of them off on camera because, I mean, if you see one pipe cleaner take down, you really see them all. So, I'm just going to put a little oil on my hands. This is not Jamaican mango oil. This is just what I hold my oil in. And I've showed you guys several times what I what oil I use. I use that African's Best. And I'm just going to put it on my hands just to make sure that I'm not making my hair any drier. And we're just going to start to take these down. Now, I'm not sure if you can see my root, but yes, I finally went ahead and retwisted. And I just went ahead and retwisted and then just put the pipe cleaners on just to have a little curl. You know, I hate straight locks, so I was not finna just be like sitting here. With nothing in my hair. So here you go. This is the first. You can see I have a hairpin in it. Holding it over. So this is the first one. Let's do the second one. Now if you need to learn how to put pipe cleaners in. This is not going to be the video to help you out. So... I'm going to link in the description box my video that shows you how to put them in. But these are just the first two. And I will definitely be back to show you it once it's all out. Okay? Mm-hmm. Alright, so all of the pipe cleaners are out, I think. Y'all know you can find you some random pipe cleaners after you done took them out for a week. So we'll see how it is. Here's the side. Shout out to me balding. Where is it? It's a spot right here that's kind of growing back now. Child has shaved it off, okay? Hashtag side cut struggle, okay? Yes. Here's the back. 
Y'all see any pipe cleaners still in there? Anyway. Here you go. You can see that the roots be twisted. So it's time to just separate. Put some oil back on my hands. And I just wanted to come in and let you see really quick. Because a lot of times when you do your hair, you don't necessarily want to record a tutorial. So that's why I call this a sit and see. Because uh, we all sitting and we going to see. <laughs> Shout out to Phaedra, because she's the only first person to put that in my thought pattern. Now, I did retwist my hair, but I'm sure there's some in the back that might not have been retwisted, because this was a nigger rig retwist. <laughs> I used my organic lock and twist, like I always do, and I just briefly... We twisted it just to help, and I did everywhere, because, you know, I'm famous for just doing the front, but I actually did the whole thing this time. So, we're just separating, and with my organic lock and twist, what I did for my hair is I mixed it with a little bit of Gorilla Snot glue. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know I've been had that Gorilla Snot. It's the same one that I've been using, and I mixed it in... With a little of my organic lock and twist, so my hair is a lot stiffer than it usually is. But I did that because, for some reason, when I retwist my hair, obviously wet, but I sleep on it overnight, it doesn't hold as well as, let's say, it would if you go under the dryer. But y'all know I ain't finna do that. So, I gotta improvise. Um, it works, it works really well, actually, I got to tell you. It is, like I said, a little stiffer, but the hold is better because, truth be told, I slept on my hair with the pipe cleaners in, obviously, but I did not tie down the, the root or tie it down in general. I let it dry and I slept with the hair net that I showed you with earlier, but how you see me when I first came on this video is how... I've been wearing it. Alright, so I think for the most part it's all out. And... Ooh, ooh, this one is ridiculous. So I'm going to go around one more time to let you see it now. Okay? So if you see something in there that's not retwisted, just pretend like you don't see it, okay? Hey. And if you're wondering where I got all my beads from, definitely check them out at Barbadian261.com. Check out Barbadian261 here on YouTube for more information on that. Girl, because you know I'm coming to get me some more beads, Ed. I don't care. <laughs> Ray say my hair gonna look like George Clinton from the Parliament House. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> All right, now this is the final result. Just big, bouncy, flowy hair, which I love. Look at this one. Uh, I may have to re-curl re that after a couple of days if I decide to keep my hair like this. But yeah. I just love how full it is, and if you notice how nice and bright black it is, that's because I dyed it. Yes. Okay? Trifecta. I dyed it, retwisted it, and curled it. Ow! Ah! Give me some props. Give me some props, because y'all know when it comes to my own hair, I'm lazy. I do hair. Apparently, I only enjoy doing hair when... I'm paid. <laughs> That's what Ravy said. He said, ever since I started this business, he can't get a hair washing this motherfucker. Okay, hey. My business, I was all. <laughs> Shout out to the five heartbeats. All right, so I just wanted to come in, like I said, and show you guys. And if you're interested, because I know somebody's going to ask what dye I used. I used Nice and Easy Blue Black. Let's try it again. Nice and Easy Blue Black. And I also used the Dollar Store Black. 
the Dollar Tree blackness for a dollar? Yes, I did. Um, the nice and easy is in the roots. And I ran out and I wasn't going to spend $5 for just the end. So I got that dollar store box. Hey. And put it. Excuse the sirens. You know, I live in the hood. Anyway, and then I put that dollar store black on the ends just to help it with the color. So, if you want to see more pictures, feel free to follow me on Instagram. You know, it's Love Jalicia. Also, you can follow my hair page. It's Jalicia underscore creations on Instagram if you want to just see strictly my work. But if you want to see me, hmm, follow me at Love Jalicia and you'll get to see more of my hair and all that stuff. So, I just wanted to come in real quick. I hope you enjoyed this first edition of the Lock Sit and See. I'm sure there will be more to come because this is much more easier than making an entire video when it's not a tutorial and I just want to show you what I did. Okay? Alright, so I will see you guys in the next video. I thank you so much for watching and enjoying. Alright? Peace out! Mwah, mwah. Girl, I just, just wiped off my lipstick. <laughs>